let's talk about short-term and long-term field trim. Short-term is a name that refers to the adjustments that are being made in response to a temporary condition. Whatever the oxygen sensor is reporting at that time, short-term is just a name given to a computer software. The short-term field trim correction is going to be in small amounts, but it's going to be happening continuously. When the short-term moves too far in one direction, adding fuel or subtracting fuel, or it stays too long in any one correction direction, meaning it's adding or subtracting fuel, that is what drives long-term fuel trim to move. When we look at this graph at the top, the short-term fuel trim is shifting from normal. That means the oxygen sensor reported lean, in this case the short-term, is commanding additional fuel to correct for that lean condition. And when we look at long-term, it did not react. It does not react immediately. Remember, we just said when short-term moves too far or stays too far too long, that's when long-term field trim is going to react. We can see that short-term stays rich for too long, and that's going to drive the long-term. That's going to drive the long-term to make its correction, and that's after short-term stayed too far too long. Now the short-term begins to move back towards zero because long-term took over and added the additional fuel. Now, just a reminder here, short-term and long-term, they're not components on the car, they're software in the computer. And we can see that long-term was driven by short-term to move, to add additional fuel. And when it did in fact move, when long-term made its first correction, short-term was headed back to zero. And that's why long-term fuel trim moved. That's why it made the correction. Its job is to keep short-term fuel trim close to zero as possible. Now, long-term fuel trim, it's just adjustments, as we said, software in the computer, and it's for conditions that are present over a longer period of time or if short-term has moved to an extreme side of any correction. Long-term field trim corrections are going to be stored inside the computer in a memory, and that memory has keep alive power. Now, back to our graph. Short-term did not reach zero, so let's look and see what long-term does. It adds additional fuel, this time driving short-term closer back to zero, somewhere around 4% there. In order to get the oxygen sensor to report normal fuel control, we had to add 27.1% more fuel, the 4.6 from short-term to 22.5 from the long-term. And this all started with an oxygen sensor reporting too lean, and of course short-term moved, long-term moved, and when the correction was made, what is the correction? The correction is when the oxygen sensor reports the correct air-fuel mixture, they both stop. Now long-term is going to store this in memory. It's going to take that 22.5, not that 27.1, it's going to take that 22.5 and write it in memory. So the next time the driver reaches this fuel cell, this certain amount of load and this certain amount of RPM, when he drives the car the same way, when the computer sees that load and that RPM, it looks down at the fuel cell memory and it says, oh, to make this engine run normally, to make this oxygen sensor report that I have a good air fuel mixture, I have to start with a 22.5 percent increase in my injector pulse width. And from that point, the oxygen sensor would again report what it sees, long term and short term would make corrections.